Many of us use telephones, aerosol cans, computers, automobiles, you know, and even coins on nearly a daily basis. And where would we be without them, especially the cell phone? Those items are listed among the greatest inventions of all times, especially the cell phone. Maybe you have an idea for a product you think would be the next big thing. Our guest this morning is on a mission to make sure we take our ideas to that next level. And in some cases, this means bringing the ideas to life. And it's really not easy. George Davison, AKA Mr. D, is CEO and founder of Davison. Good morning. Hey, how are you, Chris? Welcome back. Thank you. You got a beard now. Me. Yeah. You look so dapper. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let me ask you something. When you talk about inventions, they shape our world. I mean, just look around us. I mean, we could go on and on and on and talk about it. How do they get started? I mean, how. If I wanted to invent something, what would I do? Because sometimes I go, aha, I wish I would have done that. Well, you do it all day long. I mean, everybody gets ideas throughout their lifetime. We all have that creative gene inside of us. Yes, we do. It's just, do you also have the gene that says, I'm going to go do something about it? And if you are, then you're going to call someone like myself. But is there a common pitfall in terms of saying to yourself, okay, what we should, we should know and what we should avoid, you know, like, like the do's and don'ts? Okay. There are plenty of do's and don'ts, and let's start with the don'ts. If you are going to seek advice, make sure you seek advice from people that are actually having their products on the store shelves. Those people have been through mm -hmm. the step-by-step -step process. That's a great but, idea. Yeah. And the do's? It's kind of going to sound self-serving, but it, you would really want to come to someone like ourselves. Right. And the only reason why is... You're I, the expert. Well, I started out just like them or you or anybody with an idea 20 plus years ago. Exactly. And so I've learned all the mistakes. You also have something now, and I, I actually watched it before I came out here. I love it. It's called the Webisode Series, Dare to Invent. Tell me about yes. it. Dare to Invent. It's our uh, celebration of these courageous inventors who come to us and uh, we tell their story. And we've got one that I watched that has to do with dogs and uh, these shoes for the dogs. Yes. They're called Pugs, right? They are. Let's Pugs. take a look. Meet Kay Thompson. She's from Michigan. And up there, the winners can be tough, especially on her dog's paws. Imagine being her dog and having to go out into the blistering cold snow just to go to the bathroom. You'd be freezing your paws off. Their paws dry out and it hurts, especially when they get the salt. And then in the snow, it kind of just starts fizzing and burns. My, my dogs are really the main inspiration for my idea. You know, most of us just assume that a dog's paw can withstand all sorts of harsh environments. But the truth is, it just can't. Wet snow and ice mixed with salt can get into the padding of a dog's paw, causing discomfort and infection. Kay's idea was assigned to Jason. The team was challenged to create a new paw protecting product that was cost effective to make, would charm dog lovers, and could squeeze into a company's product line. So we decided to go with the obvious solution, dog booties, and it just really went from there. So Jason's team came up with dog boots that laced up like a shoe, had padding for comfort, and a waterproof lining. They were called Protect-A-Paw. So we chased a few companies with a Protect-A-Paw concept, but the idea just wasn't attractive enough to win any executives over. And then we had to call Kay and give her the bad news. I may have pretty much given up, but Davison didn't. Just when we thought all hope was lost, we were contacted by a pet company looking for a product like Kay's. They like your idea, just want something a little more fashionable, but something that'll still protect the dog's paws. So I have to get the team together, so I'll talk to you later. The original design was transformed into new boots, and they were made out of leather and wool with an adjustable strap. This improved the look tremendously. We ended up calling them Pugs. Very happy. I think that's a very good name for it, too. Pugs. Kay's idea looked better, but would it hold up in the cold? I've got a perfect dog to go out and test with, and then I've got a not-so-perfect dog to go out and test with. I hate my life. We've got pugs on clover, we've got pugs on clay. Now let's go out and have fun in the snow. See how much different it is when we wear pugs. <laughs> I could stay out here all day. I'd give them a thumbs up. Now see, this time they actually look like they're having oh, fun. Oh yeah. Both of them. Woof. So what do you think, Clay? If I were a dog, and today I am, mm -hmm. I would want the pugs. So another successful test, Clay? Another successful test. High five. Oh, that's great. OK, get cleaned up and get back to work, all right? The new design was great, 
We presented Kay's idea to the Hugs Pet Company, and they fell in love with it right away. Just like a lot of other things, it's an emotional roller coaster. You just have to hang in there when you're at the bottom of the hill, because before you know it, you could be soaring back up to the top. Kay's Pugs idea was a success. We cut a deal with the Hugs Pet Company, and Pugs are on their way to the stores. She has got a product of a lifetime, and it's gonna help all these dog lovers out there that have these pets that they love. They're gonna be able to go out into these harsh winter environments, and they're gonna be able to be protected. So everybody's a winner here. We wanted to show Kay our appreciation, so we invited her to Inventionland to join us in celebrating the success of her idea. Pugs to life, so actually, way to go, guys. Way to go. Thank way you way so go. much. Hi. You got something you want very special Bruno. for Bruno. Bruno. You Thank go. you. Oh my goodness. That's you. Yeah. Congratulations. That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Now I really am in shock. What do you say? We have some cake and throw a party. You guys ready? I just still don't know if it's sunk in yet. Look at that. That check will make it sink in. The Pugs has been a huge success, and it's a great story for Kay. She faced some uphill battles with this product idea, but ultimately, we have a, a hot item that's out there selling in the marketplace. Everybody's got a smile on their face, so that's what counts. I mean, these are the things that we dream about. I mean, I, these ideas, no one knows where they come from. And we're gonna end up with a great product that has fashion and function at the end of the day. Yes, I do. Think of myself as an inventor of something very helpful to dogs. And it's been a big dream come true. Oh my gosh, you see, the shoelaces didn't work, <laughs> but then they got the new invention, which works. You know what amazes me is what people will do for their dogs. I had a dog that I lived for. I took care of her more than I took care of myself. Oh. It must be a billion dollar industry. It's a multi-billion dollar industry and it's growing rapidly. I just love the fact that she cared about her pet that much and uh, it shows she's a, just a great person. And she added a little bit of fashion to that pet too. Ooh la la. Wait till you see the next one's coming out. Oh, will you come and tell us about it? Sure. I love you. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. Thanks for joining us, of course. And we look forward to seeing him. As always, it's called Dare to Invent. You know, remember, we all do it. Aha. Uh -huh. I wish I would have thought of that. To find out more about Dare to Invent and how you can get started with the idea, just visit Davison.com. That's D-A-V-I-S-O-N.com. Because at the end of the day, George, it's ka-ching, 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 right?